Tucked away in the maze of buildings at Sandia National Labs is a series of experiments working to make roadways safer. And while the Bat Lab has nothing to do with a certain DC Comics superhero, their work could save lives. News 13's Chad Brummett has more. Lorraine Torres Castro may not be a caped crusader, but her work is certainly protecting the good citizens of well, any city that's home to electric vehicles. And how is she doing that? We do destructive battery testing. Torres Castro and her team don't work in the catacombs of Gotham City. They're working here in the Bat Lab with Sandia National Laboratories. Bat is short for battery abuse testing. And in this lab, a team of scientists are <laughs> pushing batteries to their limits in order to make their use safer from very small bodies up to what you will have in a wash, very small, coin cells is what we call them, up to uh, grid energy storage batteries. Um, so that also uh, include electric vehicle batteries, um, grid energy storage, cell phones, laptops, um, almost anything um, that you could imagine. The lab is currently focused on electric vehicle batteries, which are high voltage lithium ion. It's the same technology that powers most personal electronics, just on a much bigger scale. Their high performance and low self discharge makes them great solutions, especially for EVs. But when they fail, they can cause major damage and injury. And while there are sensors to alert consumers of a threat, there's very little time they will have if a battery is about to go. The reality is right now we're looking on the order of minutes. Alex Bates is a research scientist in the Bat Lab, and he says the goal of their work is to turn those minutes of warning into hours, days, even weeks. They start off with a lot of gas generation, so there's going to be a lot of gas that comes out of the, the compartment or the cell, and that can, of course, make ingress into the cabin or things like that. Um, but the worst type of failures are the abrupt failures that cause fire and flame jets to come out of the battery pack. Uh, passengers are typically usually shielded by the pack itself, but um, it's still a concern. While EV car fires are less frequent than gas-powered vehicles, the threat is still there, especially for first responders called out to a crash. EV batteries aren't a solid brick of energy. They function more as a network of smaller batteries within a larger housing. Now, if one of those cells has a thermal runaway, which is a fancy way of saying that the cell catches fire, it could trigger a chain reaction that can engulf the vehicle within minutes. The Bat Lab is working to develop sensors that can detect the earliest signs of failure, thereby giving car owners and mechanics a heads up before disaster strikes. Our goal is to do a survey of available techniques now that maybe are too large and cumbersome to fit in an EV, EV at this point in time. Um, but the idea is that that technology, if, if it's proven, will be able to uh, shrink down and fit into an EV. Testing includes heating the batteries to the point that they catch on fire, piercing them, crushing them with hammers, overcharging and discharging, even submerging them in water. And Torres Castro says all that destructive work is paying off. We are improving every day. So we are learning from past uh, failures and we are developing strategies to mitigate those failures. So I would say we are moving in the right direction. Chad Brummett, KRQB News 13. Bates says that if successful, their testing could find ways into EV batteries within the next few years.